back to this thing. We have everything. The guided and advanced setups will only exist for global setup. And this local thing, uh, we're gonna go back and extract a few things that would only take place in local and stick them here. And uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of the dealio. Okay, taking a quick look at this, what do we need to kind of clean up with the design? Something needs to happen up here. Something, I don't know what. That's, that's like floating way too much. I don't want to say it's like dark. It's like that. Yeah. That's what it is. And then like a little, uh, little one of these guys. Maybe that's up inside the container. So we're not doing any magical negative positions when it comes to CSS. Oh, that's, that's doing it. That's the one. Okay. So the advanced, uh, let's do it, but it's, um, it's simply just this. But uh, you guys want to help me find some stuff? Eh? You want to do that? Because we get to pick a color theme for the text editor. So we're looking for something that you can embed in the browser. If possible, something that's like a little modern would be cool. Oh, that looks good. That's Dracula. That was a great suggestion. Like, Gan, that was a really good suggestion, man. It's right on, it's pretty much on point. I'm not digging that, man. That's the, with the K. That's with the C. I like that, whatever that was, with the blues. It's all blues, man, it's all blue all the way down. Why don't, yeah, why don't we pencil that, that guy in? We'll use Dracula. It's gonna grab a shot of this. We're not gonna set that up inside of uh, Illustrator. What's going on with you, Illustrator? Illustrator is not, it's no bueno. It does not want <laughs> anything to do with selecting a color out of an image. Get that. It's like, I'll just go transparent. Can I eyedropper it out of this thing? Is that about, can somebody just eyedropper the stream at this point? I just need the hex code. <laughs> this is the point we're at. Cause if not, I've got to open up Photoshop. Eh, Photoshop. We need a way to save this, right? So I think if you did control S it would save or something, but Maybe a little, what, like a box up here that says save? Or would it be a box underneath it that would say save? Hmm. Okay, that's good enough for me right now. I think that, I, yeah. I think that's good. Do you like the idea of a play and stop button next to local on the far left menu? Is there any other way to do it? I like this idea though. That's smart. That might be a way to buy us the removal of an entire menu item. What's the, what are the other words for this? Restart it. So that's something you might you might do a lot when you're coding is to do a quick a cycle, like a really quick cycle. And that si if we have something like a cycle, that can indicate like we could rotate the thing to indicate it's coming online or something like that. Where is the thing I'm looking for? Yeah, I want the refresh symbol. Yep. We're playing find the icon. This familiar game. <laughs> Where is it? We don't want whatever that is, but that's close. Why is dig in here? Is anybody really putting dig on anything anymore? Dig. Ah, ha, ha. We probably want to give it some space away from this guy, which is the view the box, right? If you hit one of these buttons, you're doing something destructive in a sense. Like it's going to turn the server off or it's going to turn it on or something. You know, something's going to happen. Something significant's about to happen. So that'll restart my box and go over the same amount of space. And this'll bring the box up or down. So let's say this is a turned on box. It's a turned on box. Whew, family friendly. Okay, hold up. Uh, it's like this question like, do we just, do you, do you need to see? <laughs> <laughs> this. Or, or do we just like make a call and say no on the local you just like you don't need that so <laughs> we get rid of it for you yeah okay that could work so if we get into this next little thing this is probably like one of the biggest features that most people don't use or don't know about in illustrator so illustrator is like a great i think is a great tool for ui one of the things that really turned me on to it early on uh, was this ability to create design components, which are reusable. And you just sort of like, 
drag and drop in your design component as you're working. And you can then go and edit that design component and change it across all your different screens. So we're gonna take this and sort of break it up for components really quick. Let's take, I think this sidebar, we'll say this whole sidebar is a thing that we're not gonna really mess around with. And I think it might include like a frame around it. So we'll grab the frame too. Probably not gonna change that little thing in the background. Probably not gonna change that add. So you take all these, then you tap F8, and it'll just give you this dialogue to create a new symbol. Uh, this is left over from a long time ago, but you have like these little options you can select here. You want the registration to be top left, um, just like on the web. A movie, movie clip or graphic won't matter. This is left over from Flash. Yeah, and you can see right here, movie clip and graphic are tags for Flash import. No difference between these two symbols in Illustrator, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know what the symbol type dynamic static means, I'm sorry. So we'll just keep it as a default static uh, dynamic. Hit okay. Can't contain a linked image. Okay, we'll take it out. Boop. And you can see it sort of like did a thing. And uh, what we have now is this big group of graphics, just like that. So what we can do over here now is delete all the graphics that that's gonna replace. Boop. Just like that. Okay, then we take the out the outer frame here and just smack it in. And now you could do like edits to this. Like I could go in and change things and uh, the changes all persist. Dude, we lost that thing, didn't we? Oh no, we lost the, how do we lose the corner pieces here? They didn't go with it. Oh no. Oh, how did we, I screwed that up. So much for a tutorial, things go wrong. That's why we have control Z. So now we can go in and let's say we wanted Instead of it saying Reddit, we want it to say uh, Breddit, which is uh, our new service uh, that only deals with bread. And over here, it's gonna say Breddit. And that's like, that's a trick, right? I think it's in terms of what I'm seeing here, like what else? Like, I don't think we really need to design anything else. I think we have enough of this figured out to kind of get us through a lot of the pieces and we can always come back to design later and just fill in the missing pieces. Just, it's funny, right? Just two screens. Cool. I guess, you know, I take it back. We'll do the components page because I would like to get the stats looking really good. Get a good idea how that's going to work. Uh, Cause we can always take those same stat style and bring it into costs or something. I'm really feeling the UI. Like I think it looks proper. I think is the right way to say it. Doesn't look too crazy. But all right, folks. Thanks for hanging out. And this is a fun one.